guys. There are a couple of people out there that show some interest in the projects that the unskilled labourer gets up to. So this video is for you guys, you two guys. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, in the workshop, 6 degrees outside, 6 degrees inside. <laughs> so this kerosene heater, somebody had dumped it where we take our rubbish twice a week we have to go to a drop-off location we've showed you that system before and everything has to be in special bags and if it's not in a special bag it won't be taken away and if it's something that's not usual garbage it won't be taken away either so something like this should be taken to the recycle center or somewhere else so someone had dumped it there and then the garbage collection guys had just put a sticker on it saying no we're not taking this away so that meant the person who dumped it was supposed to collect it and take it away, which they probably wouldn't. They'd just sit there and eventually the city would take it away, someone would take it away. So it looks a little bit beaten up, looks like someone sat on it. <laughs> it's a couple of being dropped or something. So we probably wouldn't use it in the house. We've got a couple of good ones like this in the house already that we use. Don't need it in the house, but just sort of curious to see if it would work. And if it does, you know, it could be handy in the workshop. So on the back of where that fan is, where that grill is, is there's usually an air filter that clips on and off so you can clean it. And the air filter was gone. So it was a fair guess that if the filter was gone, they might have been, might have been operating the thing without the filter. And sure enough, yep, <laughs> inside the thing was full of dust and the fan was full of dust and the fan motor was so... That might explain why they've been having trouble with it. It's, it also is possible, quite often with these things, they just buy a new one. Oh, that's old. That one's old. You know, we've had it for a few years. Let's just throw it away and get a new one. They do that here all the time. We showed you lots of examples of that. Do it with cars, don't they? They do with all sorts of stuff that quite often is still working. So I cleaned up the dust out of the inside. And this is where the kerosene can goes, and that's a kerosene filter down there. So fair guess that if they haven't killed the, the they haven't been using the dust filter, then they haven't cleaned this either. Sure enough, it's not supposed to have yellow goopy stuff in it. <laughs> All right, okay, as expected. So we took that out, emptied it out, gave it a clean. It doesn't take much. If you ever find yourself using one of these things, just empty out that goopy stuff and get a rag and just give it a really good clean. Throw your rag away and then stick it back in. That's all it needs. It's got a pretty good membrane in it that, that filters the kerosene, but you just don't want that get let it to get to that state. So the thing's full of dust and goop in there, kerosene filter. You're starting to give you an idea of why it might not have been working really well. <laughs> so I checked out what was in that tin, and it was kerosene, but it was a bit... Uh, crunchy there's a few little bits of stuff in it so put our own kerosene emptied it out totally put our own kerosene now we've got sound with this so you can hear the noises so it's telling us that the temperature in the room is six degrees and that we've set it for 20 degrees so it's all working normally and then i'll stop and think about it this is what they always do they stop and think about it for a while and then a little light comes on that says it's it's starting and then it goes click 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 a little electric starter ignites the kerosene and then it off it goes so this is all fairly normal up till now but we just weren't sure what was going to happen <laughs> is it going to go bang they're pretty reliable, these things, and they are pretty stable, but we know nothing about this thing. You know, why was it out with the rubbish? <laughs> did it did it uh, have a major problem we didn't know? So here it goes. So it's trying to click, click, click. It's trying to start now. So it's trying. It's taking a bit longer than it normally does, but that sometimes happens with these things, and then out came the smoke big puff of smoke mm, they do sometimes do that if they've had dust in there but it was just it wasn't behaving normally it was a bit odd so okay okay we've got a fire blanket and a fire extinguisher but it just it was a bit too questionable so I took it outside <laughs> 
So extension lead outside. <laughs> Fire blanket standing by, start it up again, see what happens. So just in case, I mean these things are pretty, pretty, pretty safe, pretty foolproof. But just in case it did suddenly go woof, it would be much better if it was outside somewhere you just throw the fire blanket over it rather than be trying to f trying to put the fire out in the workshop when the workshop's attached to the house. You know, it's not the sort of thing we need happening at 11 o'clock at night, is it? So here it goes trying to start. So I knew there's a chance it could go woof, or as often happens is the case, if, if they hadn't been using this recently, if they'd let it get in bad condition and then let it just let it sit somewhere, it could be just the way the burners are, could have been dusty and dirty too. And often when you get them like that, if you fire them up and they're in that condition, they'll go woof, they'll send out some smoke, they'll smell a bit, and then they'll fire up and they'll be okay. And as the fire sort of burns off, Whatever's, whatever's in there, whatever's dirty in there. So ideally you'd strip it right down to the, to the actual burners themselves and clean all, all the inside as well, but uh, no real need. <laughs> these things, to put it in perspective, these things you can buy them from about $100 to about $150 for one like this. So between $100 and $150 for a brand new one with a three year warranty. So. So now it's fired up, so you can see the fire in there, it's fired up pretty well. It's now looking like it should and sounding like it should. <laughs> that's a fairly good burn happening, it's a fairly consistent burn, that's what they normally look like. Giving off good heat. It's actually gone interesting too, the, the, it actually went up a degree, so it's outside, in, in a pretty decent wind too. But it's actually generated an extra degree of heat around itself uh, within that few seconds. So they're extremely efficient. They really are. They're cost effective as well. They work really, really well. They're much cheaper than an air conditioner. So we resisted getting one of these things, but now we've got two in the house. We have two big ones in the house. So we'll keep this. This works. We'll keep it for the workshop or somewhere else. <laughs> there it was. Didn't go bang. More videos. Coming soon.